Alex, just tell me when you start rolling. Okay, the little hashtag that could. It was um, May 15th and a lazy, rainy Sunday morning in Miami, and a bunch of Twitter people were talking about shit they didn't want to do. <laughs> now, you know, we have cannibals in Miami, so what's up with the little white lie? You know, how bad is a little lie? Well, apparently it's really important. Um, Miami too started a hashtag called Top 10 Lies, and it was about top 10 lies heard in Miami, and they were really classic. Now, first it was only concerned with little white lies that we tell, right? So let's, um, punctuality seemed to be a major issue. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in five minutes. I'll be there in 20 minutes. You know, we all, we all know how that is. These were some of the instigators of this tag. And, uh, you know, we were just playing around. So here were a few of the top 10 lines from Miami. I'm a social media expert. And this is my favorite one, the last one. Yeah, right. Anyway, Sarah Ellis jumped in. Yes, that's really my key lime Lambo. But at this point, after two hours, it started trending in Miami. And you know, all a bunch of us were just hanging out because it was raining at home and we had nothing better to do. And um, something extraordinary happened because then as we continued to hashtag this, it, st it started going national. This is my favorite personal one. Yeah, Kendall is just 20 minutes to the beach. <laughs> Anytime you rent an apartment or, or get a hotel. Yeah, really. Then a fictional character, Lord Voldemort, started tweeting top 10 lies. Um, somebody from like Scandinavia started tweeting top 10 lies with pictures. And yeah, really, this woman, she eats Taco Bell. Seriously. <laughs> and then it was extraordinary. Um, I don't know what language that is. That could be like Thai, I don't know. But see that, that video? Tweet deck just started going crazy. It was like a hamster wheel. Everyone was tweeting. I mean, my tweet deck broke down. We had top 10 lies all over the globe. And it didn't stop there. People were writing about it afterwards, except Mashable. Now, I don't know what you have to do to get a story on Mashable. I mean, Pete, Ma uh, Pete Cashmore is really cute, but you have to sleep with him? Because I don't know. We, they haven't written about it. We had YouTube. This week's topic, top 10 lies. And we're going to start off at number four. Yeah, man, everything I just rapped was off the top. Number three, man, I don't care if I ever get signed, man. I'm okay with I am. I hate when my friends tell me that they on their way. First you start with putting on your clothes. I've done then this. you go to putting on, you know, the extra accessory gear. You know, trying to look nice and spiffy. Time goes by, and now you're on the internet trying to make things go by quicker. And all you see on the internet is people talking about the party that you're supposed to be at. And your friend's still not there. You're not there and you're still tweeting about it, right? So then, apparently, it trended again in October, unbeknownst to us. I mean, even Cosmo was writing about it. And some political blogger in New York was dissing Mayor Bloomberg about his top 10 lies. So that's how much influence this tag had. Now, this is my favorite top 10 lies of all on Twitter. Please do not talk about how you're tweeting from your iPhone and then have Twitter for Android. <laughs> that's just like... Please be transparent, okay? <laughs> so I just had to throw that in there. But anyway, as of this weekend, um, I Googled top 10 lies on, and doing a United States search, and there were 17,700 uh, search results for that. Of course, my blog came in second because I always throw the word in sex. And if you want to have a great SEO, just throw the word in sex. Um, tweet reach, 22,474 impressions up to this point for the last 50 tweets. Um, which is pretty impressive for a little hashtag that started in Miami, <laughs> like a year, more than a year later. Now, top 10 lies begs many questions, and this is actually a picture of um, my creative process in creating the slide. You know, what does it mean to lie in social media? Why do we care so much about it? You know, is a white lie is that a racist comment? Is not politically correct? There were a lot of questions. So, why do we love lists? Okay, I think it's because we all have ADD and we can't read anymore but also because talking about lying is difficult and it helps us quantify an emotionally challenging experience. And there were a million people talking about these emotional experiences very transparently on that day. And then Shelley Northern, who is somewhere in the audience, um, had a brilliant comment. It was the day that everyone told the truth about lying. So we had the whole world talking about lying very transparently, even though lying is we don't consider it cool, right? And then the power of the hashtag, um, Mr. Miami Toot, who is also in the audience, said, you know, it con connects you with people 
who would otherwise never see your tweets. So without further ado, my friends, I have only one thing to say. Yeah.